Hello there. First of all, I wanted to note I'm not wearing my Blackhawks shirt, which I have been wearing almost every video lately. It's Vancouver Canucks. But I don't want to bore you with hockey. Blackhawks here. Uh, we're going to look at a new shirt. Um, not a new shirt, but a shirt from my collection that we have not looked at so far. And no, it's not this one, although it's the right color. It is this one. Australia. 2006-2007, born at the 2006 World Cup, where Australia probably had their biggest success uh, ever. They made it out of the group um, in second place behind Brazil, um, ahead of Croatia and Japan. was actually quite excited. I mean, uh, this was the first time that Australia had qualified since... I'm watching. I mean, they had a one qualifications in 1974, but everything else, um, they always were tight. I mean, I remember them losing to uh, Argentina very closely to Uruguay. Then, uh, the, of course, in 98, the big one where they threw away a big lead against Iran. I was so excited when they finally made it to the World Cup um, and it was all in for Australia. I didn't expect much and then the first match was against Japan, which now is a classic uh, Asian Cup. But back then, that was the last time that they were in Oceania uh, as their rep representative. So Australia, Japan, that was for me a matchup of, of course, I knew about the yellow, the gold and green of Australia. But I also loved the Japan shirt back then. I still do. I think this is the one Japan shirt I would like to have. I really would like to have. And yeah, uh, that game, Japan took the lead and Australia turned it around. Uh, from then on, it was really a great run. Uh, they just lost 2-0 to Brazil, where they played in their Navy one. More on that a little bit later. And then they beat... No, they didn't beat Croatia. They played a 2-2 against Croatia in a super thrilling match. Another World Cup Classic before falling to Italy through a dubious penalty in stoppage time uh, where I honestly gotta say this was the first time in a long time that I've been against Italy although I wasn't too unhappy when they went on to win it all but that one was killed by the referee when he sent off Matarazzi with the red card so I got this shirt and I got it in Kaiserslautern ahead of the game between Spain and Saudi Arabia in a store and uh, I, they just had won the day before. They just before that they, the day before they had secured their qualification against Croatia, and I was just I need to get one. Um, and I saw one, and then I was which one shall I take? Shall I take the yellow or shall I take the um, navy? Uh, with where the swoosh was yellow, and I remember thinking I really like the navy, but this is more Australian. For me, I know it's not an Australian flag, but having been to Australia, the Australian national colors are gold and green. It's everywhere except for the flag. Um, go figure. And so, yeah, it was then ultimately not too hard, hard, hard of a decision. The shirt is, of course, a Nike shirt, and it is Nike Sphere Dry technology, which is a stupid marketing gag. Um, it has a, on the back, a green tail which is doesn't have on the front it just the front is just plain yellow uh, it has a little bit green on the sleeve cuffs which actually I think this is all right I don't like here that the color if you look at it um, you have here that could be yellow and then they should have made this green here I really think so. Uh, this kind of bore it's kind of a boring look if it's just uh, yellow. I would of course prefer the whole thing trimmed in green. Um, if you ask me, the nicest Australia shirt that I've seen in a long time was the one worn in the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. That was an absolute beauty. That was my favorite Australia shirt. Other than that, there's not much to it. I mean, I don't have a number on it. I find the material uh, kind of interesting. You see on the inside, it has all these bubbles. Outside it is uh kind of smooth and inside has kind of all those bubbles it if you rub it on you it massages you slightly <laughs> no it doesn't um the label has already worn a little bit i have been wearing this a lot um and then of course here's the crest which is just a plastic transfer this is uh one disappointment the other one is and i understand it now this soccer ball here which does not feature on the player version and uh, the reason this is the Australian coat of arms and I absolutely love it 
but they had to put the soccer ball in there because by law the Australian coat of arms can only be used for official representative uh, reasons and not for commercial. Since it's a replica shirt, this is a commercial reason, so that's why you get this abomination. Um, I feel it's sad. If you look at the real Australia player, I really would like to have a player version shirt of Australia because they really have this nicely embroidered or sometimes in plastic transform but yeah if I feel this it's slightly you can feel it's coming it might come off anytime soon which means I need to get a new Australia shirt and if it is not a 2014 shirt I really like the 2016-17 um, uh, away jersey that was navy now they have a green one which makes for Australia more sense, but I like those navy looks. But yes, I think Australia should wear a green away jersey. But overall, if you look at it, it's quite a plain, but not an uninteresting shirt. Um, and yeah, it is their classic shirt overall. I mean, this is the one where they had all the, had, where they had, had a great run in Germany and therefore a uh, great memory attached to me i see here now the last thing we should talk about is ventilation if you look here at the sleeves um this is non-ventilated and then suddenly here comes some ventilation in which is cut in it goes all the way down the side so it's slightly ventilated but i gotta say when i wear this one um it feels like you it could be more breathable let's put it that way let me know how you like this shirt, if you have any memories attached to that one. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.